Hey, and good afternoon. I am so glad you guys joined me today. I am here with Karen Andrea Stefan, and she is an expert in helping us unclutter our mental clutter. I know it's a super interesting topic, but today we're going to be talking about something that is new and fascinating to all of us, which is the AI component and how it applies to us getting our lives maybe upgraded a level from where we are right now. So we are uncovering a bunch of topics today around our mental and physical clutter and how we can use AI to generate the interest in our daily activities and how we can use a program she has called Air Kick. So I'm really excited that you guys are joining me today. Thank you so much. Please leave your questions and comments in the sidebar because we will be jumping in to say hello to you. And already Fran is saying hello from Phoenix, Arizona and happy new year. So hello, Fran Thompson. And please help me welcome Karen Andrea Stefan. How are you today? Hi, I, I'm so happy to be in this show. I'm so grateful to be able to connect with other people who also are interested in decluttering whatever it is, the mind, the house, your life. So really honored to be here. Well, you know, this is a new year. And as we approach the new year, there are a lot of people that have New Year's resolutions. And maybe the New Year's resolutions are not necessarily to live with less as much as it is getting our lives in balance. And so I, I see this as an opportunity for us to maybe take a different look or maybe a slightly different angle from what we're doing. So I'm curious, just jump in and tell us all about what ear kick is and how it relates to the new year that we're approaching right now. Yeah, happy to do this. So ear kick, let me just say what it is, is an AI power platform that empowers people to measure and improve their mental health in real time. And why is it important for you? Because we all need to know where we're at, whether it's new year or it's in the middle of a year, but especially when we want to assess what we want to change. Maybe it is to live with less or to worry less or to be less stressed, whatever it is, we have to assess. So there's a measurement element, and then there's the improvement element. And the improvement element is that you get guidance, that you get um, resources, that you get in the moment suggestion, suggestions that are actionable. And do the huge numerous resolution that you give up after two days. It doesn't have to be the huge it can be very down to earth little things that we can accomplish and that make us feel like we can we can you know overcome the mountain of whatever we have in front of us ear kick if we look at the, the, the decluttering part helps with decluttering for example your mind through specific features and capabilities your voice, video, or typing, and it's emotion, it, emotional expression that is the important thing here. Users can just freely express their thoughts and emotions through typing, speaking, or video interactions, and this process serves as a digital journal, allowing you to unload your thoughts, concerns, and feelings, just get it out of your head, get it off your chest. And the act of externalizing emotions can be an is therapeutic, helping us to declutter the mind by releasing pent up feelings, anger, sadness, frustration, all of that. Then also there is a wonderful feature that is a tone and emotion analysis. Ear mm. kick, the AI in ear kick, listens to what you say, but also how you say it. And it immediately within seconds, assesses your emotions, whether you're happy or stressed, or anxious, all that, it puts it automatically into your diary and also lists the reasons why you're feeling that way and it remembers everything. So you have a journal that basically writes itself and gives you an immediate in the moment analysis of where you're at, your symptoms, you know, your thoughts, etc. And then 
after this is assessed, this is within seconds, there will be a little panda, a cute little panda that appears and validates your feelings, validates what you just said. It'll, it'll type back to you, it'll speak back to you and say things like, hey, it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. Here's what you can do. I'm here for you, I'll guide you step by step, or I'll be your companion. And that all happens in real time, in seconds. Now imagine you did a, do a little bit of that every day. Then you catch the problems early before they become a huge avalanche. And you can tackle these things with very down to earth actions in your day, in your house, in your mind, in your body. Now, there are other things that we have, like contextual understanding and memory. Ear kick the pan remembers you, for example. In a context of problem or challenge, it also can identify the level of your anxiety automatically. And it can give you the empathy that you need to attack the day or to do this next um, task that you've been postponing. We also have a very gamified, an intelligent um, habit um, builder where you can set small achievable goals, you'll be nudged, you'll be, re uh, you, you'll be reminded. And so you can attack this huge mountain in front of you step by step, bit by bit. So if I, get if I understand ahead. correctly, uh, we have an app that's on your phone. It's accessible on your smartphone. Yes. And you download Correct. the AirKick app. And then as you go through the day, you speak in your own voice and you just say, hey, right now I'm struggling with a pile of extra laundry that I haven't figured out how to sort through. And I might want to keep some of the stuff and some of it's probably dirty and some of it I haven't, I just don't know what to do with. And then the panda jumps up on the screen and then tells me, hey, I understand that you're not alone. You're, you're experiencing something that lots of people have laundry issues. And here are, does it make recommendations then? In real time, is that is that it what does, it does? You can chat with it. You, it. It does make recommendations. It discusses things with you. You can really. It, there is no problem too small or too big for the panda. And if it's, for example, that you you finally want to tap this, you know, uh, this wardrobe, or you finally want to go and and clean up the basement, uh, then you can just chat with it and, and tell you, and, and, and it'll find out what is your trigger. Why are you not doing it? Or what, what are you afraid of? And you can just go work through that in words and thoughts, and then make an action plan and go do what you, you, were, you were supposed to do or what you wanted to do. So in the physical world, but also in the emotional and, and thought world, because a lot of the problems we face when we want to declutter our lives is that it, our feelings get in the way. You know, we are triggered by something. Maybe we want to clean up something and then we find something that triggers us or throws us back into a bad time, the pandemic, a divorce, whatever that is. And so we not only have to deal with the physical world and the clutter there, but also with everything that storms our mind, all the memories, you know. So Earkick helps with both, with your emotional decluttering and with your decluttering that you need to do in the real world. So when it comes to Earkick, am, am I understanding that the panda then speaks back in a language or a voice we understand because we fed it the information like, hey, here's how I think. And then it's going to go, oh, I understand how you think. And in the same language that we're using, whether it's simplified lear learning or whether it's like really expansive language, it's going to speak back to us in the same terms. And it's going to then give us information based on our level of experience and expertise and educational information. Is that kind of correct? That is correct. It will remember you. So it remembers what you've been through in the last two weeks. It, it'll pick up on that conversation and you don't have to repeat everything. It'll, uh, it, it understands a lot of languages, but it will speak or answer in either English or Spanish. We're adding more languages as we go. Um, but if you can speak however you want into it. Um, and you'll get an answer. It will always be simple enough to understand no, you know, medical terms or anything that is complicated. And the wonderful thing is you can also shape the panda. So you can personalize it, give it a name, 
um, ask for a style of how it should interact with you. Should it be more like should it be more like a teacher or more like a, a chummy friend or more tough love? You can all customize that because we are all different in our ways how we get motivated and how we stay engaged. So we mm -hmm. made it in a way that you can shape it to your needs. So you made a comment that caught my attention when you said it remembers what you said or did over the last couple of weeks. So is it tracking the progress of what you've made as well? So if you're dealing yes. with a particular issue and then you go into another room of the house and let's say it's a clutter issue with clothes, for example, is it going to remember that you had uh, those same hangups in the other room, probably the same hangups in this room over here? Does that, does it help with that? Yes. It, you can, there are many ways we can go, uh, go about that. Yes. You can just talk to, to the panda about that. Be very specific if you, if you want. And you can also set goals. Let's say you want to set the goal of cleaning up your closet um, and then you break it down into smaller actions and you put it into ear kick and it will remind you that certain time whatever however you would like to have this and then every week you get a report about how you've been doing about you know your mood and your progress and the trends that you have that that the panda has detected and you can pick up on that so for example if you did not make all the pro pro progress you wanted in decluttering your house it will it will tell you what it is but it will also motivate you to keep going and to not give up so you basically have a companion that's constantly on your side it never gets tired or impatient it listens to you and it loves you the way you are basically and i think that's the key right there it loves you the way you are and it accepts you whereas right mm -hmm. now as we're trying to unclutter our homes and we're trying to find a balance sometimes we get frustrated with ourselves and sometimes we might be our own worst enemy and sometimes the people that live in the house with us are like how come you're still you know fighting this particular issue and you still have clutter issues and what have you so i think that that's a, a really interesting facet that it loves you the way you are and is not judgmental of your process. And so then Correct. I want to, I want to ask the next question, which is if you are using this as a tool, is this a replacement for maybe seeing a therapist or going to, um, I don't know, some counseling or getting a professional organizer or somebody in your home, or is this just an additional tool? It depends on your situation. I would say if you're lucky enough, and many of us are not, um, to have the means, the time, the budget, the resources to go see a therapist, do it. Mm. Because you're one of the few lucky ones. If you have a coach, if you have, you know, uh, someone else, that has to, by all means, use it. But your therapist is not going to be there for you 24-7. And mm. you may feel shame to call at three o'clock in the morning. You may feel a little uncomfortable talking about a nitty gritty problem. You may not want to call your coach at, in the morning when you feel like everything is too much and that you don't want to get up uh, and do the things. That's where an AI like the Panda is very, very helpful. It, it never grows tired. It works with you through the same thing a million times if you want. You know, I find myself struggling with the same things all over. And I, as, you know, to go to my partner and tell him for the thousandth time that this is my problem with decluttering, let's say, my, uh, my wardrobe. I mean, he will at some point tell me that, hey, you know, like, I'm getting tired of this or, you know, this is boring. But an AI will never say that. They, the AI panda is always happy that you're interacting. It's always ready to again work with you through the whole thing your memories your inhibitions your concerns and that's why it's so helpful a lot of our members use it on, on you know next to other resources or they use it even if they don't have a per se problem they just like to have this you know panna in the pocket um that they can turn to anytime and not feel judged and not have to go through that, oh, what is he going to or she going to think about me? How do I look? You know, all these things, they're gone because you're in a safe space when you when you interact with the panda on the app. 
And, you know, nobody needs to see that. Nobody is going to see that. It's absolutely safe and, and private. So you can use it as an on-top, ongoing tool. Um, and the, the beauty about it is that all the data that is collected about you is on your phone and stays on your phone and is yours and yours alone. So again, if you're lucky enough to have access to help or therapist, or coach, go work with them. And they'll be happy to know that you are tracking your mood, you're tracking your progress, you're tracking how you deal with emotional problems around the club. So what kind of stuff does it track? It tracks your moods. It tracks your progress. It has conversations with you. It saves your data so that it knows the data that you already gave it in prior days or prior weeks. And you said it's kind of like a diary. So if I were going to go back yeah. and I were going to look like, hey, wait a second, I've been on this program for 60 days. What was my progress in the last 60 days? Can I go back in time and look at where I was? Is it is it linear yeah. like that? You can, but the most important thing is it also tracks, it, it tries to figure out what your triggers are and what your patterns are. For example, uh, there are people who 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 are who have the seasonal lows. So in winter, they're less willing and they feel less motivated to, let's say, declutter or, you know, keep some kind of regimen. And um, the panda will tell you about that. Okay, look, you know, like in, in spring or in May, you're always much more motivated. Now it's getting darker, you know, be careful, be mindful of this. Let's see how we can prepare for that season. Um, it tracks uh, the weather. It, it, can, it can get a lot of between how you feel, how you act, how much you move. It tracks your sleep, your, um, how, your exercise and correlates it with what you say and what you achieve. Let's say if you have a particular good day, every Saturday you're really motivated to go declutter. It will tell you that. And so you know that Saturday is a good day for decluttering, and then you can work on the days where you feel like you're not so motivated. Interesting. Um, Fran Thompson asks the question, it's a great question, can Karen log into the program and give viewers a demo? Is that something that we are able to do, or do they need to go to your website to take a look at that? Um, well, um, I can't right now do it live because I don't have my phone to do it right now, but you can go to the website. You can chat with a panda. You don't have to download anything for that. Uh, just go on tech or chat with me, you can see chat with a panda and you can check it out, um, how it interacts with you. Um, if you want to download the app, it's free. Um, you can just go ahead on, um, on the app store or on Google Play, download, play around with it. Um, and yeah, next time I'm happy to come and demo it anytime. Um, you will see the beauty of it is not in the first moment, it's over time where you realize how much it changes you, how much you open up to people, how much you're being honest with yourself because you have help, because you have a support in your pocket. Uh, and so the long-term effectivity and efficacy is, is really exciting. Um, so I encourage you to go and just chat away with it, tap away with it right now as we speak. How does Earkick Panda compare to ChatGPT? That's a very, very good question. So ChatGPT uh, is, a, is a brilliant tool and it's very broad, very general. You can ask it anything you want and it'll spit out some kind of answer. Earkick has an own system, an own ChatGPT, if you will, that is trained to keep you safe to not hallucinate and to give you answers as like, like a professional therapist or a professional coach. It will not speak in a you know medical language per se. Mm -hmm. It will it will really be more of your companion, but it has all the knowledge. In the realm of mental health, emotional mm -hmm. health habit building, all that. So don't go and ask for math. Um, 
you know, solutions or <laughs> things like that, unless it has to do with your life. But you know, it's really about your emotional life, your mental health, and the changes you want to make to your life. So is this a product that you then pay for by the use or do you get so many minutes per month or how is it set up as far as the pricing structure? It's a very good question too. So it's free, the basic version. You can think of it as du like Duolingo. Uh, the, the, all you need is on the basic free version. And you don't have to register, you do not have to leave any personal data like in uh, free applications. Um, and then there is a pro version that includes limitless, includes more features that are on top of that. So the pricing structure right now is, I think, uh, around $10 a month, and I believe $69 per year. Um, and the free version stays free. So if you want to uh, just use it, you have no means or not enough means, don't worry, you can use it. And you can tell your friends and you can spread the word because the more people use it, the more we can, um, we can really change things in people's lives. That's what our mission is all about. So there's a free version and then there's a premium version and the premium version has more features. What types of features, features does the premium version has that the, uh, the simple simplified version does not have? For example, that you can, uh, you have endless chats. Um, in the, in the, base version. um, the, Pro version also has a panic button, which is a panic sequence. When you have a panic attack, for example, um, then all you need to do is press the button and then there, there will be a whole sequence um, that helps you through your panic attack that alerts someone that you choose beforehand that you're having a panic attack and you can customize lots of things, but mainly it measures your pa panic attack and helps you breathe through that attack and alert someone to get come get you or to think of you, um, things like that. Then we have the syncing across devices. A, a lot of members ask for that. So they um, that premium version. Um, and there are there are, are some new um, features coming every week um, that depending on how basic they are will be part or will not be part of the premium version. Well, you know, I love AI and I discovered AI initially back, I guess it was uh, Thanksgiving of a year ago. And I absolutely, it just wrecked my whole weekend. I was just mesmerized by it. I sat there and said, whoa, wait a second. The whole world for me just changed. And it changed for me because I found myself being able to ask more questions and getting immediate answers. And I came from an era where way back in the day when I started my business, for example, uh, my public library allowed me to use the public librarians for research. And I could ask up to 20 mm -hmm. questions a day. And so every day I would write out my questions and I would go to the public library and they would research all the things I needed to know. And then I would go work for the day cleaning houses as a professional house cleaner. Then at the end of the day, I would swing back by the public library and they would have my answers for me and periodicals and microfiche and all the different places I could access the information. Then one day when the internet came about, there was Ask Jeeves. And then I could ask Jeeves some questions and it didn't know very many answers, but it would try to find the answers. But I found that there was a huge shift in my consciousness where instead of me going mm -hmm. physically to the public library, I could go online looking for the answers. And now I discovered now since Ask Jeeves, we have Google and Bing and all the different search engines, which have just absolutely changed my world. And then I discovered AI. And AI is interesting because I can, instead of sitting down and doing hours upon hours of research, I can just ask a couple simple questions using the right prompts. And I get answers mm -hmm. now with feedback. So tell me now using EarKick, 
and using the panda and having conversations back and forth. How do I take the information now that I'm used to, which is asking questions and change the prompts so that I can get more accurate information about myself and my situation? Well, for one, you know, once you start talking about your feelings and thoughts, you will automatically become better at asking the right questions about yourself. Also about the relationship, about what you're going, etc. We need that training. Not everyone knows how to ask good questions. And a lot of mental health problems have to do with that. And the panda also asks you questions. It's constantly, you know, wanting to interact and asking you questions that you may not never have considered that you may mm -hmm. never have uh, worked with, uh, which, by the way, a therapist will also do. So you get better on both sides. You get better at expressing yourselves, but also at formulating what is not clear. Where do you need support? And as you alluded to before, timing is a huge, huge game changer. A lot of people, you know, they need immediate help because timing is so important. They may know the answer to a crisis situation later on in hindsight, or if they mm. come across a book, but they need it now. You know, if you're in a bad place, your boss screams at you, or, you know, you discover that the problem that you were tackling is much bigger and you're frustrated, then you can't wait for hours or weeks to then finally make sense of it. So now you have a tool that where you can get clarity, you know, in the back and forth right away. And a problem that could escalate into a real problem stays small and manageable. Well, and that's a really interesting point. And I'm really glad you brought that up. And I want to backtrack just for a second so that we don't miss this element. We become better communicators by communicating. And I think that's really interesting. I know that when mm -hmm. I started using AI as a tool, I had to change the way that I think in order to ask better questions. And you said, we will get better as yeah. we go. For example, you're, you mentioned being frustrated with your boss. And so oftentimes what that shows up with in our lives is we're like, ah, I hate feeling this way. Mm -hmm. AI and no panda is going to know what feeling this way is. So you have to say, I hate feeling this way when I'm at work and my boss comes in and I've spent hours on a particular project and my boss comes in and instead of acknowledging what I've done that I spent hours on, they find the one thing that I neglected to do, which is on my to-do list and it's coming up next. Okay, so now I just gave you a whole bunch of context in which the scenario can go, ah, now I see, right? I remember in the past, my mm -hmm. husband might come in and he'd say, where is that thing? And then I'm trying to guess like, where is that thing? What is that thing that he's looking for based on how he's dressed, based on the time of the day, based on the, the attitude or the, you know, what's coming next, whether is he waiting for dinner? Is he getting ready to go out and do yard work? I can kind of guess what that thing is, but AI cannot guess because it doesn't know the context. And so then I have to say, oh, Instead of him saying, where is that thing? Where are the claws that I use to pick up leaves when I'm going outside to, you know, remove the leaves from the barrel in the backyard or whatever? You have to be very specific. Then it gives you very specific answers. So tell me about the yeah. specific questions we need to learn. And is there a diary of prompts or is there a way to find the communication tactics that we can ask better questions in order to get the answers that we're actually looking for? from air kick it's a very good question you can actually ask that the panda you can <clears> tell <throat> panda hey uh, i'm having you know trouble with my emotional life or with my personal life i don't know where to start you know what would be a good way to dig into this to work through this and just have it interact with you and give you the cues and it, as you say we get better at it uh a lot of procrastination, a lot of problems that we have in daily life have to do with a lack of clarity. And the lack of clarity comes from, we don't know exactly where to start. 
or we don't know exactly what to tackle first, which question to ask first. And the mere, the mere acknowledgement of we need help or I don't know is the best start th that you can have. So you just tell the panda exactly how you're feeling. I don't know where to start. I'm confused. I, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And, and you take it from there. And over time, you will learn how you function and what the typical pitfalls are that you, you know, continuously fall into. Um, and since there is no shame, but just the companion that wants to work with you through it, um, you can grow with that at your own pace. You know, a lot of our problems have to do that we feel rushed or that we feel that we, we fail expectations whether it's our own or someone else's you can let go of that in the panda because it'll remind you that that's not what is important i i, I can share one thing that i was um i was uh giving uh, a lecture and uh, with very important people basically and i was nervous before that so i spoke to the panda and i said hey i'm, I'm you know i'm gonna do this and all these people are so you know eloquent and they're so intelligent and you know what if I fail and then the panda just said look intelligence is not what matters um here's how you should reframe this and think of this and take a breath first like inhale exhale and then take it from there Rem remember that you are worthy the way you are and that nobody's judging you out there, you know? So it kept giving me really good things to hold on to in a situation where I was under pressure. Of course, maybe after the presentation, I can tell myself all these things, but in the moment when we are not feeling okay and when we need help, the best way is to say, I need help and make that first step, open the app, talk to the panel, or, you know, uh, do something don't keep it in your on your chest. Don't keep it in your head and torturing you. You know, I talked to the pan, pan about cleaning my room because it seemed so impossible, and because I had all these excuses, and it can see right from that and tell me, "Hey, you know, pain under, underneath that. Maybe it's not about your room. Maybe it's because you're afraid of X, Y, Z." like the last time we spoke, you know, things like that. You mentioned that uh, Panda can ask questions, and I find that typical AI does not ask questions. It just answers questions and then says, hey, let me know if you need anything else. And then you ask another question, it gives you another answer, but it doesn't really ask you questions back like, hey, have you thought of this? So am I understanding correctly that Panda asks you questions back? The better it knows you, the better it will get at asking questions. Because the thing is that um, in order to engage you or keep you engaged and, um, and asks you things, absolutely. Uh, and it will grow with you. Um, so check it out, you know, um, you, you, you can, there is no limit to, um, asking something of it and yes sometimes it tries to find solutions for you right um but if you don't like that style you can change the style and you can tell it hey look i don't you know i need tough love i, I want you to challenge me you know or i want you to do this and then see what happens all right so um you've talked a little bit about how we can use AI powered emotional help to kind of clarify our own thoughts and what have you. How can we use mm -hmm. it to declutter our mind? We're in an era right now where there's a lot of stuff going on and there are a lot of pressures and a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. How can we use it to declutter our mind? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, decluttering your mind means that you start sorting out, right? You go and say, okay, this is, you express yourself. This is all to, for example, I, all these news are, you're wearing me down. Um, and and the, the minute you start expressing this pain or this worry, all these emotions that are, you know, messing with your mind, the first step. And then you can start 
getting an overview. So what is the, 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 the thing that weighs most on me? You put it at the side. Then what is something maybe that is only in my head that is not reality? There are no facts to it. So you put it in another box. Um, what is something that I don't need to solve right now or I can't solve because it's nothing that where I have any, you know, any power of solving it? Put it in another box. And then you start working through the clutter in your mind because what you actually want is you want to have the overview and you want to be able to make decisions such as this doesn't go here or this is actually something I want to keep or here is where I need room for something new. Um, and what we need when we do this is a bit of guidance and we need mm. motivation because especially in the beginning it looks like it's just so much I better not start. Right. And when we get guidance and when we have a companion that keeps us motivated and it, it goes like, have you thought of this? And, you know, you did well last week. You did this, 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 this. Keep going. You know, then that's maybe just a little nudge and just a little tap on the shoulder that we needed to go to, to continue going. Um, and that's the true for the body, because we also clutter our body. Um, it's true for our minds. You know, and it's true for our rooms, uh, our lives, our work life, too. So Panna will always tell you not to do too many things at one time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, break it down into achievable tasks and then go and do the first one. And let's see how you feel then. Let's see how you're doing, you know. And you feel like it's not that somebody's actually, you know, there with you and is giving you of a pat on the shoulder and it's, it's so with and it's so much easier at least for me <laughs> well you know that's interesting and it solves a problem one of the problems many people have and especially i'm going to throw this to the teenagers a lot of teenagers feel like no one listens to me and my voice doesn't matter mm. and many adults uh, i'm going to throw this to the moms out there many moms feel like oh i do so much around my house and i do everything for everyone else and no one really appreciates what i do is this mm. that moment where you have some feedback coming at you that you're feeding panda and panda is like coming back at you giving you the accolades that you need and giving you encouragement where you feel like no one appreciates what I do. No one's listening to my voice. No one's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of out here an island by myself. Yes. So <laughs> to say in the words of our members, for them, it, a lot of them really use it to vent into it because mm. their lives are really in disadvantage they have tough jobs they um they have they maybe they care for someone they have kids but it's nothing that you can just go make go you know make disappear so they need ear kick to just vent into it and they tell us that they feel so much better and that's when the reflection and the work the inner work can start so they just need to declutter it right away like get it out uh off their chest and be and, and be allowed to be angry and be allowed to say things that maybe you don't want anyone else to hear. And then you take it from there. So that's one point. And the other thing is that, um, you know, when Panda gives you this timely empathy, you are reminded uh, that, first of all, you matter. You're worthy. And that the, the things that you, that you express are important. They're not nothing, you know. A lot of teenagers use ear kick and they say, I have been bottling up everything since I can remember. It's the first time I just let go. I can just say things that maybe are stupid to others or that my parents would laugh at. And the panda doesn't laugh at me. It takes me serious. So at any age, we have these problems of we feel that we don't belong or we feel that we're not taken serious, that our word doesn't count, that we have no power, no agency. And with EarKick, we created a safe room where you do have agency, maybe not over everything, but at least there with your emotions, your thoughts, your decisions. 
and you can play around with it um, and uh, you can play around it and, and learn how to express it towards another person. A lot of our members tell us that they practice with the panda. So maybe they have relationship problems. And so they they talk talk it through with the panda. And by like the time role they playing. go out and talk to the partner, yeah, like role playing. And and, and and so maybe they blurt out all kinds of unfair things to the panda. And by the time they're done with it, they can reflect. The panda gives them a few actionable suggestions, and then they go out in the real world, reconnect with, with the partner or a friend or the mother, whoever, and have been able to formulate and express what is hurting them and how potentially the solution could look like. And just having that step before, you know, getting into a fight or feeling like the world owes you, um, you can go practice that. And it's all yours. It's your diary. Nobody's going to go and look at it. I think that in and of itself right there is worth the price of the premium membership to have unlimited conversations where mm -hmm. you can practice first. Let me say that again. There are so many times in our lives, I myself am guilty of this as well, where I say, oh, I wish I didn't say that. And I wish I could rewind that conversation and I could now change my words and I could say it a little bit differently because the person that I'm speaking to was offended because my words came out the wrong way. And now they're never going to speak to me again. And it was like, ah, I just wish I could do it. I could have a do over, right? This yes. gives us the do over for the price of the premium membership unlimited so that all those people in our lives that are like, I can't believe you just said that. Well, now I get a chance to practice with Panda. I can say it any which way I like, and I can vent as much as I want, and I can just tell it like it is. And then lo and behold, Panda is going to help me restructure and reframe the thoughts so that I can present them in a normal way so people don't think I'm just like bat crazy, right? Yeah. Yes, because we walk around in life and we pick up trash all day, right? I feel like a trash man. You know, I, I pick up here and then somebody burdens me with that. And, you know, by the time it's the afternoon, I'm just, I'm going to explode at some point and dump all the trash in front of someone who doesn't deserve that, right? Mm. And we can we can diffuse some of that. Um, and, and, you know, you let go of the trash or whatever we're burned at in a tiny manner without hurting someone. It's not going to be offended. That's a good thing. It's just going to, it's just going to help you do away with it or look at it with some more, you know, with clearer eyes, if you will. So yes, it is very helpful. And we have numbers to prove that. Um, Time Magazine just wrote about us uh, because uh, mood and anxiety get better um, over time just by checking in. We have 34 and 32 percent of improvement proven um, just by doing the little few seconds of opening the app and saying something into it, getting a reply. That's it. And if you do more than that, if you do, let's say, if you set up goals and if you check uh, your time and breathing exercise that we offer within the app, then your, you know, your curve is even steeper and the efficacy is even better over time. So we have some numbers to prove that. Well, and I think if you use it, that's the key. If you use it, instead of just scrolling aimlessly through social media, if you were to stop for a, sec a couple of yeah. minutes and just check in. And I'm thinking that there are times mm -hmm. throughout our day that are organic check-in moments. You wake up first thing in the morning. How did you sleep last night? Check in. If you just got back from the gym, how do you feel? Did you have a good workout? Were you honest about the workout that you did? Or did you kind of just like, you know, fluff your way through it and check in? Mm -hmm. If you're standing in front of the microwave waiting for something to heat up, you got a minute or two where you could check in. You know, mm -hmm. we all, I don't want to say this, but we all spend a couple of minutes inside the bathroom. Who knows doing what? Check in right? There are a couple yeah. of organic moments throughout the day that are built in where you can check in and then stay in touch. And I, I don't know about most of you, but I know that I've tried writing the journal where you pull out the book and you try to write the words. And unless it's a dedicated time every day, it's so easy to not sit down and do that. And I see this as a real opportunity to kind of keep track of your life 
Otherwise, it's just going to slip away from you and we drift aimlessly from day to day. Tell me, what are the, the people that are using air kick? What are they seeing as a, as a, my life changed or my life is better as a result of using air kick? What's happening with the people that are using it? Yeah, this is a very important question. So the, the, the main point that people tell us is a safe space where they are heard and where they get an answer from. So basically the interaction with the panda and the agency, the control they are given um, over their emotional life, over what's happening in their lives. They no longer feel like they're run by life or by how people treat them or their situation. They feel like they can do something, even if it's very small. But mainly, again, it's speaking to the panda and feeling heard, validated, and loved. All right, so now I got to ask the question, why ear kick? What brought you to ear kick and why why did you create this? This is fascinating. Yeah, uh, so it goes back many years. Uh, when I was, uh, in my first life, I was a musician. And as a little kid, I already had to go on stage. Um, I also had a difficult family situation where there was a lot of fighting and misunderstandings. And I always wished for a sidekick in my ear that would tell me seconds before I go on stage, Karen, breathe. It's it's okay. The audience loves you, or you know, you're gonna survive this. You did you practice so much. And mm -hmm. I didn't have that. Uh, or when my parents would fight and I felt like I, you know, like the world was ending. I just a little voice telling me, look, it's not your fault. Yeah, things happen. Parents fight. It's not because you are a bad person, you know, all these things. And so I dreamt about having a little sidekick. Over time, you know, I said most of us are limited, not by our talent, not by our hard work, not by opportunities we're given, but by a lack of mental health. So it means we have all the things we need to be the best version of ourselves. And then mental health gets in the way. And it gets in the way, and we don't notice, and others don't notice, until we're really in a bad place. Mm -hmm. So I realized not only that mental health also needs to, to identify early signs, and to understand when we're on a downward path, uh, you know, and give us a heads up. So by the time I met my co-founder, Herbert Bay, he's, he's a, a, a computer vision expert, a lot had happened in technology and both of us had already built companies. So we were like, when we met, we got to build something that helps you understand yourself early, gives you a heads up, but also helps you do something about it and attack and tackle problems when they're small um, so that we do not have to, you know, worry about uh, an astonishing suicide rate that we have in the mm. world right now so that we don't have to watch our youth struggle. You know, we're 50% of our youth is struggling with mental health. Come on, that's one mm. in two for the parents or the youth listening, that's, that's just unbearable. Um, and that's why we built a sidekick, ear kick, a sidekick, you know, you can listen to it, you can look at it, um, it it'll listen to you. So that's why the name ear kick is there. And we wrote a whole article about it on our website, you can see that. Um, and we are absolutely convinced that if we can give everyone on earth the opportunity to have a digital companion that knows them well, that interacts with them and helps them in a timely way, that we will have much less struggling. Uh, you know, we can, life is difficult and we will run into trouble. It's not about making those troubles go away, but it's all about knowing what to do at the right moment in the right place having that helper that I imagined when I was a kid be there ready for us. That's why we built Air Kick. 
And we're seeing it with tens of thousands of members that it actually works. So when we were kids, we had the invisible friend that we could talk to that would just love us unconditionally, that would chitty chat with us. And those were just kind of like words that we imagined they would say to us in our heads. But so this is actually a digital AI version that we have a conversation with and it tracks everything that we say and it gives us a conversation back and asks us questions and kind of like an invisible AI friend that looks like a panda as an app on our phone. Is that, am I, am I correct? <laughs> this is the main thing that you mentioned this, you know, Esther Corral speaks about this and it's absolutely that. Yes. Uh, we have a very good way as kids to have a, a friend, a companion. And most of us, maybe all of us lost that ability to externalize things that are that are difficult for us and to find, find a playful way to deal with it. Um, and uh, EarKit gives you the opportunity to use that tool and that process as a grown up or as a teenager. Um, and there, you know, we will see much more of that because the world, let's face it, has become very complex, very fast, very demanding, very exhausting, you know. Uh, I think we all deserve some help uh, and we all deserve help that means us. That is not a one size fits all thing, but that actually is so personalized that we can relate to it and that we feel that it means us and not randomly anyone. Um, and EarKick is built that way. We want everyone every member to feel like we build it only for them, only for them. As soon as the show ends, I'm going to get bombarded with questions of people who are going to ask this. So I got to ask this right now. What happens to the data that we give ear kick and is it confidential or is it going to get shared or sold or what have you? This is such an important question. Happy to answer. First of all, when you download EarKick, you do not have to register. You can just download it. So we do not collect any personal data of you at all. There is no way to, to, to uh, uh, Then the data stays on your phone. You lose your phone, your data is gone. This is the extent to which we, we mean it when we say we're radically private. You will never see an ad. You will never see some marketing. Uh, you will never get anything but your own stuff that you want on the app. Um, and that's how you can tell that we really mean what we do. Um, there is no way we can identify anyone. This is all automatic. This is all on the phone. Um, and the data cannot and will not be so done anything to uh, a third party. We, if you're interested, we have uh, on our website a whole section about privacy. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. Just write to me, karen at earkick.com. I will answer each and every question because this is such a relevant topic. So if I pay, I pay all the money and I get unlimited conversations, uh, then you do know who I am. And then what happens? Any difference? It has nothing to do with it. That there is no connection between your journey on the app with Panda and your subscription. There is no connection okay. between those. Uh, we don't have any of you. We don't have your email. We don't have your name. We don't have any of that. And that's the beauty of AI that it's automatic. So there is no human interference. There's nobody, you know, looking at what you do. Uh, that's how we built it. And again, it works on your phone itself. So it's not going somewhere. So are there any downsides to ear kick that maybe because it's new to me and I'm unfamiliar with it that I haven't looked at or I haven't analyzed? Is there anything that maybe I'm overlooking? Well, I don't see any downsides. Um, 
of course, you know, if technology becomes everything in your life and you're constantly glued to the phone, um, uh, and, and if by any chance, earkick would be, uh, you know, the reason for it, which I don't believe, because the panel will always tell you to go connect to the real world. Um, yeah, then, you know, we all know that too much screen time, that doom scrolling on social media, that uh, identifying too much with the, you know, social media and everything that's in the virtual world can be damaging. But earkick is built in a way that you're not supposed to go doom scrolling. There is no distractions. You have very clear goals on that. There is a conversation, there is in that path. And if technology, not just ear kick, tries to keep you in a sort of fantasy world or in, you know, glued to your phone, then it, it technology that you encounter encourages you and helps you reconnect to yourself, to your body, your mind, to other people, to your community, to your society, then it's helpful. And that's how you can make the distinction. And that's why we did not build EarKick to kind of push you further down some rabbit holes. It's quite the opposite. So please, if you see any downsides of EarKick, I'm the first one who wants to know. Again, write to me. Your audience is more than welcome to reach out if they see anything that they don't like and would love to learn from it. Well, and I love your I love your analyzation of it because you said technology, many of us spend too much time. I do. I'm one of these people. I spend way too much time on technology. And every night at a certain time, there's a little alarm that goes off and it's got a little Valentine on it. It's like, hey, I'm your heart friend. Uh, it's time for you to like wind it down for the night, call it quits for the night and go get some rest because that's what you promised yourself you're going to do. Not in exactly those words, but then I'm like, oh, yes, it's time for me to go to bed now. But I literally need an alarm to go to bed just as much as I need an alarm to get up. And it's because I do live in an era where I'm so sucked in by the technology and a lot of it's work for me. But I get so sucked in by it that by the time the evening rolls around, I've lost track of the fact that it's now my bedtime and I need to go wind it down for the night. You know, so I love the fact that uh, Panda is on my side and is going to give me some words of encouragement and tell me to, you know, keep keep on the straight and narrow. So uh, you mentioned earlier in our conversation, and we've got just a little bit of time left, tiny time, we're running out of time. Um, you mentioned that Panda was designed or Airkick was designed with safety in mind. Can you explain what that means to yeah. us? So our full focus is the user, the member. Um, it, everything we did, we tested it up and down way long before it went live. So we have two systems, one that is not live, one that is live, and we constantly stress test it. But most of all, we don't do anything on this app from the smallest detail to the biggest feature without the user in mind, you know, without walking in their shoes, without having the community and our members, you know, test things, tell us what they need, what is helpful, what is not helpful. And all of this is in a very data-driven way, which means that anything that is not according to our values, anything that is not helpful and of benefit will be scrapped. What will will not even go live, right? Um, and that's why we're very, very thankful to all our users, members who have helped us co-create a product that people actually love and find helpful. And you know, we will never stop to obsess with the end user, to obsess with making things that people come that are met in terms of efficacy and, um, you know, and support. Well, I really appreciate your time today. This is a, a very interesting concept, kind of like having a second conscience in your back pocket on your phone at all times. And instead of being mm -hmm. your own worst critic, which like many of us are, it's your own best friend. And uh, I really like this. I'm I'm really excited about the possibilities here. And so I really want to thank you for joining us. Please tell our listeners where they can go to find you. They can go to earpick.com. They can also find us on WeFunder, 
We have a WeFunder campaign where we have a video and lots of data so you can really dig into exactly what we do, how we do it, what are the plans, etc. Um, and you can even become uh, an investor starting with $100. You can be an investor in here can, can be part of that huge movement. Again, you can find me on socials. You can find Earkick on socials, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. You can find us on TikTok for the younger ones. You can find us on Instagram. And you can write to me. I will answer. Karen at earkick.com. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I am absolutely mesmerized by the thought of this. And I really want to hear everybody's comments. So I'm going to ask you guys, after you've downloaded the app, again, there's a free and a premium version. Download the free version and give it a try. Let me know what you think. And has Panda become your new best friend? What do you think of Earkick? I'm really, really interested. And I'm going to keep you posted as well. Because I think during our decluttering journey, I think this could really help us out a lot. Thank you today, uh, Andrea, uh, Karen, Andrea, Stefan, for joining us and for introducing us to Earkick. I think this is a real opportunity for us to be able to try something a little bit different than what we've tried in the past. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your being here with me today. And uh, I will I will look for your comments in the notes below. So have a great day. We'll see you again. Same, t 